So I just want to take a quick second um, to introduce uh, our own local award-winning documentarian, Deborah Horde. We have been incredibly lucky at Thinkwater to have access to her, all of her talent, her expertise. She is a passionate and creative artist, a valuable member of our team, and an all-around good egg. So, Deb Horde. Thanks. Give her some love. Here she is. Thanks. It's, um, it is really cool to be here uh, speaking as part of this symposium. I've been really struck by how each topic and each person uh, is showing us how systems thinking can help us solve problems and bring new insight into such a startlingly different array of subjects. I'm a documentary filmmaker and I want to change the world. I'm here today because I have come to believe that systems thinking is one of those things that can change the world. And I'm doing something about it. Uh, I'm fortunate to have my own production company, Photosynthesis Productions, based here in Ithaca. Uh, and I'm able to choose projects that I believe are important, things I want to do, um, things that have a real chance of making a positive impact. I do lots of promotional and educational work for Cornell University. I'm a Cornell grad. Uh, and I'm also able to work on um, issues of social justice and civil rights. My new film, Rethinking, is about to be released and explores the way teaching thinking can have a deep impact on our schools and ultimately on our society. The diversity of my projects has helped me see systems, um, a diversity of systems on a very wide scale. I'm going to share a short sample reel with footage uh, from a bunch of my recent projects. Um, so uh, as I was looking at it, uh, preparing for this talk, I, I could see so many different systems that I hadn't even noticed before. Athletic teams, uh, there's a synchrotron, a puppet, uh, a nursery school for puppets, uh, and the Dalai Lama's monastery, which is based right here in uh, Ithaca. It ends with a, a shot of the total eclipse of the sun, which I threw in. Uh, which we filmed for the National Geographic Society 20 years ago. And that, that experience and that image has uh, come to be part of the identity and the logo of photosynthesis. So this is just a, a little over a minute, I think. Okay, wake up out there. I believe in the power of storytelling. Um, sometimes it's easy to tell a story. You have a script, you have a, a, a simple storyline in mind. The documentaries are different. Uh, you start with, out with a plan, a vision, uh, and along the way things come up, things change, and things happen. You have to embrace serendipity. Uh, I have come to see, uh, through my association with the Cabreras and all these years of working together, 
I've come to see my film projects as each one is a complex adaptive system. Um, I have a mental model of what it can be, what I want it to be, uh, and along the way, the story is discovered from the footage. It reveals itself as you find out what people say, what happens when the camera is rolling. The parts become the whole. And as they do, they provide feedback that refines my mental model of what the film can be and should be. On the editing level, um, I'm also aware that each shot I choose means there are others I'm not choosing. Uh, like, like lots of ideas and DSRP, that sounds sort of simple and maybe even obvious. But I found that if that awareness makes me a better editor, makes me make better choices from the very beginning, seeing more clearly the distinctions among the shots. I'm also more aware of the various perspectives involved in my filmmaking. I, there's my point of view as a filmmaker, and then there's the physical point of view of the camera, which is seeing a very small portion of a, a small slice of what's really happening in the scene or the world. And ultimately, I'm also taking into account all of the different perspectives of the people in my audience. Uh, I'm going to show a little excerpt from Rethinking, uh, where a group of high school students use systems thinking to explore a problem. Basically, right now, all we're doing is brainstorming. Yeah. and to kind of figure out what our current system is, what's wrong with it, and how can we change it for the better in a way that actually is possible. Yeah, so that's sort of a big distinction shift, which it doesn't seem super significant, but it, like a distinction shift like that can really change the way that um, teachers and students interact in real life. Like if we think of students as adults in training, then they'll see themselves not as like underneath teachers, mm -hmm but as learning with them. Each of these, right? Yeah, so your assessment's gonna be lifelike. Everything should be a reflection of real life situations. So we didn't actually define did. what makes a good student, no. or like what makes... What we need to be as students. Yeah. Okay, so what do you guys think? Like committed slash <laughs> motivated? Um, okay, wait. Like, or look at this. Yeah. I was reading How to Make Friends and Influence People, and it said 85% um, of your job is based off how well you can work with people. Oh, yeah. Here, this is what we just And 15% is um, what, how much you actually know. <laughs> okay, so the so future much. is prepares for life, and we need the now. So this is, it's, it's supposed to prepare us for life back then, but well, like life was a factory us. back then. <sighs> And so in being assessed, you're really being, instead of being about, do you know the knowledge, it's really about... Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready? N not just academically, but based on life and based off the things that happen in life. But are, are, are you prepared for, are, are you prepared for a job? Are you prepared for this? Are you prepared for that? Um, really bridge the gap between profession and knowledge and how you're going to use that knowledge to uh, succeed in your profession. All right, we believe that students should not be viewed as subjects to be taught, but adults in training. Yeah. Yes, good, Laura. So that's, <laughs> that's just, uh, I chose that because it shows this, this, these young people using diagramming and systems thinking to really uh, unpack a problem, and, and uh, the film is filled with situations like that. So, um, Rethinking will be released in the next few months, uh, and I hope that it will spark an awareness of how uh, thinking about our thinking can change American school and ultimately have an impact on our democracy and our society. Um, and uh, so, thank you very much. You're going to see lots of excerpts of other, other little video clips that we've made for Thinkwater over the course of the afternoon. So um, I'd be happy to talk about any of that afterwards. So thank you.